Folks, kitchen lights are on 5.40 p.m. on the dot, and it's a beautiful day. We're starting it off fresh, looking good as usual with the hoodie on. It's a little cold in the house, but I don't mind bundling up. Sometimes bundling up is better than, I guess, just shorts on a hot summer day. So, ladies and gentlemen, good news, good news, good news. Bitcoin, if you are a Bitcoin investor, it's going to the moon. It's literally on a rocket ship to the moon right now, and we're looking... Fantastic. But do you remember the Facebook movie, the Winklevoss? I think you pronounce her name Winklevoss. Winklevoss. Winkle with a W. Winklevoss twins. Mark Zuckerberg, remember them? They hired him, well, the whole Facebook movie, but the twins hired him to design the website and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, long story short, they're involved with Bitcoin big time. You're like, what's Bitcoin? You know what I'm saying? Kind of hard to explain over the uh, vlog, just kind of a summary of it. It's a cryptocurrency, meaning it's a digital currency. Anyway, it's awesome. So it's actually going up and up and up through the roof right now. And why, Chris, are you talking about the Facebook twins? Anyway, the reason I say that is because they're actually getting the SEC, Securities Exchange Commission, to try to approve their EFT, ETF, ETF, EFT, ETF. Anyway, I'm not uh, very smart on all that nonsense, but anyway, they are having the SEC approve their ETF or EFT, however you pronounce it. Anyway, if that does get approved, we're gonna see the rocket ship go higher and higher. If it doesn't get approved, then it's gonna dip. And when it dips, you rebuy because it will go back up, hopefully. Okay, on to the next thing. Folks, it's Ikea time. Let's do this. Ikea has stepped up their game with a couple little sweet little tools to nail in some things that has changed since we first got married over five years ago and we bought stuff for our first apartment. So this little thing right here, check this out, right? Beforehand, you would have to just eyeball it, hoping that you didn't go too far in, would nail it straight through, and then that would stick through and poke you know, yourself. You wanna actually get it into the wood here. So what this does is you just go ahead and put that like that. Okay, so let me show you. You take this little thing, and you just slide it right on the edge here, and you put your nail in right here, and then all you do, you go like that, and you remove it, and you bang it on in. That way, every single nail is perfectly right into the action right there. That is sweet. Ikea, hooking it up real nice right there. What? You looking at me? You looking at me? You better not be looking at me. Double time, double thick, all day long. What, you wanna go quad? You wanna go quad? Yeah, we'll go quad. We'll go quad with you. Oof. Ladies and gentlemen, current time, 12.58 a.m. Let's go see what we've been doing over here. And look what I have created. Well, Ikea came up with the concept, but there is a rule to my madness. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a good feeling I know the reason why everyone loves Ikea so much. Even though this is just a shell, this is what you guys saw me building right here, just the outer shell. There's actually two of them, and I believe it's called PAX, I believe it's the name of it. Anyway, it's like a wardrobe closet. You can have a little door on there. Obviously, there's a mirror door right there. Hey, what's going on, guys? How are we doing? So, as we can see over here, let me show you exactly what we got. So, my wife went over there and she designed this. So, you're your own designer as well. They're very, very smart. Not to mention, after you put it together, you feel accomplished because you have put something together. You've built something with your hands. We both said that there's something awesome about that. Now, let's go over there closer and take a look. Obviously, this is the door and that's the little handle. Each little mirror is gonna go here and here. The only problem though, we did have a fail. Let me show you what our fail was. Our fail was that, uh, I'm not sure who forgot this one. We don't have any hinges. My goodness gracious, we do not have three hinges, meaning 
that we cannot put the doors on tonight, but it's actually kind of cool. So up here at the top is a little bar here with an extension pole here. How about that? You put your shirts on there, you're looking great. Dropping down to my, of course, my dumpster diving shirt I found. Awesome shirt, by the way. Coming down here to a basket, this thing pulls out, stops right there. You could put some socks, cologne, whatever you want to put in there. And then what's this, Chris? What is that? Is that a coat rack? No, that's a pant rack, my friend. And then we have the shelf underneath right here. And then we have the shoe thing compartment or whatever you want down there. So anyway, this little square thing, of course, that we just looked at, that was all one piece. That's an accessory. That's an accessory. This is an accessory. And that little shelf was a $5 accessory as well. And it makes it really nice. Again, my wife got his and hers. How cute is that, huh? How cute is that? Of course, Binsberg Films, tea, caffeine free. How about that? Sweet digs, my friend. And also on a side note, again, congratulations to the contest winners. I have received both of your addresses and I will be shipping those out either tomorrow or the following day after that. I will probably put it in the 24 hour slot so that I don't have to go during business hours. I'm always more into like heading over there at two o'clock in the morning in between dumpster diving. Oh, maybe I will do that. Awesome, sweet, I'm hungry now. Well, it's coming together, not really. <laughs> <laughs> not, not really. We're making territories here. So living room territory, dining room territory. Hey, at least we have a table we can sit down. We saw that the other day. Anyway, we're working on it. But something I realized though is in somewhere in here, remember I never showed you what the mystery box was that was up on the little banister at the old place. And it was about the size of my hand and I was super excited about it, but it's been quite a while and I haven't even opened it yet. And it's amazing. And when I do reveal what that is, you guys are gonna think I am crazy for waiting as long as I have. Open it up, so stay tuned. The sun is shining the next day, and so I'm gonna fare you a farewell to you and yours for true. So with that ado, join me tomorrow, which is today. God bless you, God protect you. Remember to carpe diem, baby, and live your dream. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later. <laughs>